we're going to talk about the Interton VC4000, a system I knew nothing about as a kid, but since discovered on the internet and wanted to see what the games were all about. Basically, there was about 40 different cassettes, so I'm going to cover half of them now and half in the next year. Cassette 1, otherwise known as Grand Prix, different car racing games, nothing special, very jumpy controls. Cassette 2 is Blackjack. Just another blackjack game. Too many colors. And we don't need music after each win or loss. Cassette 3, Olympics. Ball and paddle type games. This is very similar to the Atari 2600 Video Olympics, but not as smooth or as good. Cassette 4, Combat. 26 variations on tank and plane type of one-on-one -on -one fighting. Again, copying Atari 2600's tank. But the sounds are so annoying, I could never play this long-term against anybody without wanting to break the TV, or at least rip out the speaker. Cassette 5, Basic Math 1 addition and subtraction. Hey, this was actually good. The keypad helps enter numbers quickly, which is better than Atari and definitely Fairchild. And also, I like the variations with multiple lines and plus or minus mixing it up, as well as slowly revealed numbers. So pretty cool. Cassette 6, Math 2, Multiplication and Division, Plus and Minus. Hard stuff. It's probably way better to write it down on paper quickly, but still a good challenge if you want to try and do it mentally on screen. Much like the first basic math cartridge, except this one stacks multiplication and division and things like that, which gets very tricky to do mentally. Cassette 7, Air Sea Battle. These are nice variations on the targeting type of games. Smooth shooting. I like the 15 shot limit and scoring as a gauge for high scores. So far, this is the most playable part yet. Cassette 8, Treasure Hunt. They packed a capture the flag game in with concentration game. Not bad implementations for the time. I found the sound okay, not too annoying. The numbers and picture variations on concentration were good. And it has better resolution than the 2600 version. Cassette 9, Super Maze. Okay, I'm not a big fan of maze games, but they pack this cartridge with good variations, speeds, single and dual player options. Some never before done variations were the shifting mazes and rotating sides and things like that. Good challenge on the last cat and mouse high speed. Cassette 10. No way, winter sports. Yeah, 
winter sports way before Epics started in on their classic game series. You know, summer games, winter games, etc. But here we have ski jump and slalom. A good try, but mostly kind of dumb and hard to figure out what you're doing. Cassette 11. Horse racing. Really? How exciting. I don't even want to play this one. Well, at least you play the part of the horse trying to jump over a set of obstacles coming at you. Not as bad as I thought after all, but still not that good. Cassette 12, Shooting Gallery. Here's another target and timing type of game, which are fun, but they don't have much depth. I will say, the Interton games are impressing me for their quality, graphics, and playability. This is a slick game with many good variations. Cassette 13, Chess. The game that man used to love and be amused by, and then we taught computers how to beat us with brute force and artificial intelligence. But this early chess game shows no pictures of the board, just lets you enter moves and play against the computer. Interesting, but I don't have anywhere near the patience to play it this way when there's so many good versions of chess. Even one on your iPhone, come on. Cassette 14, Motocross. Standard game for the era. You time your gear shifts and acceleration for the fastest speed from start to finish. This one is better than some, but not as good as the arcade version is trying to be like. Cassette 15. Four in a row. Hey, good computer AI here makes this standard board game a good computer cart, as you now have a worthy opponent of varying skill levels to play against. And now you don't have to play against your easy younger brother. Cassette 16. Mastermind. And yep, and here we have uh, Interton's version of the every platform board game. I say that because every platform has Mastermind. It's nice to know the breadth of game design has greatly improved over the years, hasn't it? This version of Mastermind is rather hard, though, with four digits and six possibilities in just eight turns to finish it. But still a fun brain game. Cassette 17, Circus. Oh, right. Popular arcade game, popular to try to recreate on the home systems. I bet this was long before licensing. Man, I think Atari would have made so much more money in a more developed industry that actually had copyright protections. Just everybody copied their ideas initially. It's amazing. Cassette 18 is boxing. I was actually impressed with the quality of the graphics and the animation on this cart. The resolution is definitely way better than the Atari 2600. Too bad play is fairly slow and no computer opponent at all to go against. That's because I guess they wasted all their programming on that Rocky themed opening music. However, this might be the worst Rocky music ever, but at least they tried. Again though, no copyrights back in 1978 apparently. Cassette 19 is Space War. Nope, not the classic Space War. Another Atari video arcade game rip, though. This is the very popular target in the middle, shoot moving ships around shooter. Odyssey 2 actually had the best one of these with Cosmic Conflict. Imagine my surprise when they played Star Wars after you win. Hmm. Maybe perhaps unlicensed yet again? Cassette 20, Musical Games. Well, 
games is really being generous. There's basically variations on Simon with four or six music color selections to test your memory. In addition, there's a note playback program where you can watch a song being played or just fool around and punch in your own song. That's kind of hard on the ears, though. It's not the highest audio fidelity. <laughs> but honestly, in its time, I guess it's not a bad idea, you know? It's a good implementation of Simon and a way to make some songs. And that's basically the first half of all the games that came out on that Interton VC4000 system. We'll cover the next 20 next time.